All right, welcome to my PlayWave series challenge guide. So this was actually teased a while ago and then the challenges never came out. But here they are finally, and you've got one week and four days to complete them. Now it looks like there's a boatload of rewards. So as far as I know, there's six sprays, one banner, and I think an emoticon. I don't know if it's an emoticon or a back bling. We'll see. Now there are quite a lot of challenges to do. And I feel like a lot of these are copyrighted. So just be careful if you upload anything to YouTube, you might get copyright struck. But according to the official Fortnite Twitter account, some of the songs include Juice World, an amazing artist, Billie Eilish, Imagine Dragons, Machine Gun Kelly, and a few others as well. So I don't know if you can hear these songs in the background when you do these maps. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. So luckily you can literally view the island on all of these. So go to the challenge you want and then click whatever button view island is for you. It also shows the map code up there. So we're going to start with dance slash electronic and it says restore health in up and running. Okay. So there's definitely copyrighted music here in the background. Oh wow. You can take damage for sure. So I imagine we're going to find some healing items eventually. Right now I just see stink bombs and impulse grenades. So let's just keep on going until we find something. Okay, there's a heart right there, so I imagine that's what we need. Let's go up there and see if that does anything. Okay, yeah. So you want to take a little damage so you can complete the quest. So I think these cars can damage you. Yeah, just don't die. I don't even know if you can die, just be careful. So that guy grabbed the slap juice. But it looks like we can get this heart right here. There's tons of hearts, so it should be pretty easy. Now every time it says up, you get yeeted. All right, and we're done with that one. That's pretty cool. Next, let's do R&B. So there's actually three separate maps here. These are not the same map. Let's start with this one. Collect music notes in Emotion in Motion. Okay, so the first time you see a music note is when you're in the house. Here's one right here. And you follow this path. I guess you're supposed to burn some stuff too. That's kind of cool. It's a very interactive map. Oh, you only had to complete five? Okay. Well, some of these are pretty easy. All right, now we have to earn points in rising rhythms. Imagine we just fly through. Do you get points going through? Yeah, you get points just by going through the rings. I can't hear your plane at all, though. So pretty much just fly through about... 10 rings. Oh, it transported me. What happened? It transported me to another area. So basically, you just have to fly through about 10 rings. Some of them are worth more than others. So, like, what's this one? That was eight. Yeah, pretty easy. Nice. So here's two of the rewards. That one's pretty cool. And then we've got a fishy one blending in. Not bad. And the last one for R&B says interact with objects in memory lane. So it said we just have to interact with objects. So I'm assuming a prompt is going to come up. Oh, yeah, right here. Set out picnic. Will that count as an interaction? Oh, we got a decent amount of XP. Build sandcastle. Haha. <laughs> Ta-da. At least it shows you where to go. What? Wouldn't let me do anything there. There's a lot of forced things in these music maps. Like, I'm not controlling this right now. It's just doing it automatically. Can we play basketball? What the? How about this? Can we interact with this? Pick up a rusty can. Oh, there we go. You can spam the rusty cans. And that gave me my 10th object. Okay. All right. Next section is hip hop slash rap. Let's see if these are all on different maps. Yes. These are all separate maps. So there's five. This is the biggest section. Now this is the one that everyone said was glitched. It says collect a sword and shield in a peaceful night. A lot of people said this couldn't be done. It was broken. Let's take a look. I think they may have fixed it, but we'll see. 
Okay, so in this starting room where you have to fight monsters, there's these boxes over here and you have to move them in order to get the shield. So that's how you acquire the shield and you already get the sword right away. Next up is collect coins in Dirt Bike Daydream. You gotta collect five of them. So this is a Juice World map. Yes, let's go. So here you go, you only have to collect five coins. So you just follow this path. This is a pretty cool map. This is made by Atlas Creative. Okay, so there were three coins at the very, very beginning and then you have to wait about three minutes before you get to these. And that's when you can get the other two and you should be good to go. So this one, you do have to experience the map a little bit, but it's a great song regardless. So now we have the Chaotic Plunge Spray. This is the thing I didn't know if it was a back bling or not. And clearly it's not, it's an emoticon, but it's animated. So there's that, I guess, the booming note. Next up, we have to collect more music notes in Defeat the Trolls, 10 of them to be exact. Well, this looks pretty cool. Let's just take out the trolls. So again, we're collecting music notes, so you don't really have to eliminate these guys. You can't sprint though. Hmm. So we gotta get 10 of them, remember? Looks like they're pretty much all right here. Yeah, it's gonna be a little slow though, since you can't sprint. So once you get through the lyrics, you can collect a few more music notes. Let's see if we can get all 10 here. Some of these are on top the fire hydrants. Pow. So it'll keep taking you back to this part where there's no music notes and you just have to dodge all this stuff. All right, round two. Yeah, it looks like I may have missed a few notes, so maybe you can complete it in one. There we go, okay. Next up, we have to collect more music notes, this time in Dream Factory, and this time we need a lot, 20 of them. So this is Juice World Lucid Dreams. Okay, so we got some music notes right away. Remember, we need 20. Some of these maps are really, really cool. And they're, of course, made in Creative 1.0, which is even more impressive. So there's plenty of music notes all around so far. Not sure how many we're at, and there's an anti-gravity. Okay, so there's a lot on this area where the beds are floating. We gotta be getting close, I think. If you die, it'll take you back to the start, but then just go the other way. There we go, we got 20. And there's way more than 20 on the map. And don't forget, you do get XP for playing these and grabbing additional music notes and things of that nature. All right, the last one in hip hop rap is collect music notes in the vibe ride. 15 of these. All right, I like this one already. There's a million music notes right off the rip. So we're just gonna traverse down this road. It's pretty cool how they put ginormous lyrics on these maps. Oh, this is gonna be an easy one. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so now we got the party trooper was here spray as well as the banner icon, which is a headset, nice. So there's seven left in total, and again, you only need three. So I'm gonna skip this one because it's just collect music notes. This one's collect music notes as well, and so is that one. So I'm gonna do ones that aren't collect music notes. Let's do this one. Eliminate opponents in Casino Heist Payload. That sounds like fun. It says two teams battle over the payload in this high intensity music driven experience with music by Imagine Dragons. You can attack or defend. Okay. Okay, so this could be an issue. So I did a public game and nobody is joining. So you might not be able to do this one if nobody joins. <gasps> yes, someone joined. Okay, so I gotta go on the opposite team of him. Okay, I'll be honest. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I got him. Okay, we need one other limb. I don't know where that guy appeared from though. Okay, I probably wouldn't recommend this map just because it would be a lot easier to collect music notes on a different one. <laughs> okay, someone just shot at me. There he is. Okay, we got our two limbs. I'm gonna let this guy limb me. Right here, buddy. Okay, let's do this one next. Smash statues in Inferno Forge. Okay, we have to smash statues. 
Looks like there's music notes too, but we're not collecting music notes. Wait a minute, that counts as smashing statues? What the? Okay, well, I guess that's all you have to do is collect the music notes, even though it literally says smash statues. I'm not smashing them. Weird. Okay, well that one was quick. Definitely do that one on your list. Okay, we have one more to do. We're gonna do this one. Complete a challenge in Dark City Race. Sounds like it might require a guide. So it looks like there's three challenges. You can either collect 20 music notes, travel 5,000 meters, or finish three laps before the song ends. All right, so I'm gonna try to race around. Looks like you can collect music notes as you're racing. Man, that guy is flying. I don't know how long the map is. Okay, that's not too bad. So you go pretty fast, so collecting the music notes is a little difficult, depending on how fast you go. Wait, I'm done already? What did I do? I didn't complete any of the challenges yet. How did I finish? I swear it just said I finished. Hold on, let's, let's just take a look. Yeah, well, what challenge did I complete? There were three of them. I don't know. Just drive around and collect music notes, and you'll eventually finish one of these three challenges, or you'll be like me, and it just gave it to me for some reason. So this is pretty cool, though. Pretty easy. And here's the last three. We get the Hot Saucers Spray. Oh, you get a loading screen. Once in a generation. Grace of a Butterfly. That's Zuri. I love Zuri. Okay. And then lastly, the Solo Sulk. All right, well, I was not anticipating a loading screen, so to me, that makes it worthwhile. You may not like the sprays, the banners, or the emoticons, but it's always good to have a loading screen. So there you go. That's how you do the PlayWave challenges. The last ones left are pretty easy and self-explanatory. Collect music notes or collect puzzle pieces. But like I said, you don't have to do those. You only have to do 12. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.